To other world news now, and the French Catholic Church has been hit by a new scandal after a cardinal admitted to sexually abusing a child. Cardinal Jean-Pierre Ricard confessed to assaulting a 14-year-old girl 35 years ago. He's withdrawn from his religious duties. These new revelations come a year after an investigation into the French Catholic Church unveiled widespread abuse of children by priests. Let's bring in Mark Atsuruni, who is the Europe coordinator for Survivors Network of those abused by priests. He joins us from Po in the southwest of France. Thank you so much for being on the program, Mark. Other le church leaders have said that this confession was a shock. What's your reaction? Reaction? Could this really be such a surprise to church leaders? Well, in a sense, it was a surprise to uh, the French in general. But I should add to complete your report that uh, this one cardinal was indeed found to have abused a 14-year-old 35 years ago. But he was just one among. Uh, t uh, 11 bishops who were uh, reported as having committed sexual abuses over the last decades. And this came out yesterday during the annual conference of the French Bishops uh, uh, Association. So it's, just, it's not just one isolated incident. It's a, it's a large number, as I say, of, of, of bishops. In other words, mm. people at the highest level of the church who are found to have committed these atrocities. Uh, Mark, Given the large number of allegations that are being made, he is the only one to confess. And this is a man that only retired from his position in 2019 and presumably those other bishops were serving up until recently too. What can we make of that? Yes, you're absolutely right. He's the only one who came, I was going to say, came clean and confessed. Uh, the others have not made public statements, but it has been known by the church, most of them. Their uh, crimes have been known for a number of years. And what's really problematic and tragic is that the uh, church has been hiding uh, these uh, uh, these, these uh, crimes and has been moving these bishops around from one uh, parish to, to the other just to make sure uh, the, the, the information wouldn't become public. That's the real atrocity here, the way these people were not removed from ministry. Very often they were protected, including mm. at the highest level. Mark, what impact will this confession have on the reputation of the Catholic Church in France. I mean, it's certainly been in tatters of, uh, in recent years. And also, has there been any response from the Vatican? Yes, no, I haven't heard any response from the Vatican yet. And to give you the, the title of an article I wrote for my association, I ask in the, in the title of the article I wrote on this subject, is this one more nail in the coffin? And I think that's a good way of describing it, uh, this, these revelations, it's just, uh, uh, one more set of, of accusations and also that shows the uh, Catholic Church in a very bad light in terms of always trying to protect people, trying to um, cover up the crimes in, in ways that are extremely damaging to the Catholic Church. That's a thing that they don't seem to, to fully understand, to fully realise that their behaviour is extremely self-defeating. Mm, well, we really appreciate your insights. We do have to move on. Mark Atsuruni, the Europe coordinator for Survivors Network of Those Abused by Priests. Thank you.